Hello and welcome to Talk Review Gaming's the preview of Norwich City versus West Ham United on Saturday the 13th of February at 3pm kickoff at Carroll Road. I'm Gio from Hammer Chat and I've got Charlie with me as well and I've also got a new guest, we've got Jason with us. Jason, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Let's buy the cherry. <laughs> Jason, what's your opinion on Norwich City then? They just seem to be a team a bit down in the doldrums at the moment, sort of suffering with uh, what Aston Villa have moment, a bit bereft of confidence. I mean, even Aston Villa turned them over, which speaks volumes, really, in my eyes. Yeah, they've lost their last six in all competitions, Charlie, and 19 goals conceded in that six games. Is that what's going to get them relegated? They stuck four past Liverpool and still got beat. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I like Alex Neal. Um, I like him as a manager, and... I quite like Norwich as well, but he's he's stuck to his guns, which is something I appreciate, and something a lot of people are saying about Bournemouth. Well, they're gonna have to change their style if they want to stay up. And I sort of I appreciate the fact that he's stuck to his guns, but they are very suspect at the back. And if that, I mean, if we can't break them down, then we're not gonna be able to break anyone down. If if you had to make a bold prediction right now, Charlie, is Norwich City getting relegated? Oh no, they're not. They're gonna stay up. Jason, um, who do you th- who do you consider Norwich City's danger man for us on Saturday then? Cool, it's tough to say. I really rate um, Robert Snodgrass and uh, Robbie Brady. I think he's uh, pretty much the one player that can really turn it on out of their team on paper would be him. Maybe lean towards Matt Jarvis as well, but that may just be because of a spot, soft spot, really. Yeah, well, uh, Brady's actually got two in his last three against us, so he does enjoy playing us against us anyway. He scored at Upton Park in the reverse fixture. Charlie, is there anyone you would take from Norwich City in the summer? Say they got relegated we, and we'd, we'd bought our two big main signings and we're looking to just bulk out the team a little bit. Is there anyone that you would take? Uh, probably the only one would be I'd consider Robbie Brady. I actually really like him. I liked him when he was at Hull. Um, I think his ability to play anywhere along that left-hand side, whether it be sort of on the wing in midfield or wing back or even left back or whatever, I think he's I think he's a genuinely decent player. Um, he would probably be the one I would pick. He'd probably be the only one I'd pick actually. Yeah. I wouldn't take him, but um, I think we need to make sure Rez Hulahan has a very quiet game for Norwich City. If there's one player that I think can turn a defence like that for Norwich City, it's him. Um, Jason, just before we talk about our own side, what do you make of Nathan Redmond, the guy who? He's always had potential, but he's not quite reached the height of it. Do you think he's still got that potential, but he needs to step up, step up a gear very quickly if he's to make a sort of impact on the Premier League? Well, he did start quite brightly, if I do recall. Um, I guess maybe he's just suffering with a bit of burnout, really. He did play a, a full championship season beforehand going into the Premier League as well. It's never an easy step up for any young player. I mean, no matter how either way you dress it up. But um, I think if he just... You know, gets this experience under his belt, he'll only be stronger. Yeah, well, let's talk about the stats then before we talk about West Ham. Uh, this is not a good stat. West Ham haven't actually won in their last 16 games at Norwich City. We've drawn seven and lost nine. However, we haven't won at Anfield in 50 odd years before Slavin Bilic came along, so there's one man turn around, it's him. Um, the last four times we've played Norwich City, there's been a goal in the 90th minute onwards. Um, so, do not leave in the 89th minute if you're travelling to Norwich City this weekend. And if, if you're a Liverpool fan and you're somehow at Carroll Road, do not leave on the 77th. You will maybe miss a goal. They have also conceded the first goal the most in the Premier League. 18 games this season so far, Norwich City have conceded the first goal. So West Ham, we've all been saying, start slowly. If they start sharply against this side, surely they're, they're going to get the first goal. And their keepers, statistically speaking, that's played five or more appearances in the Premier League this season, they have two of the worst three keepers in the league, and that's going by shots to saves ratio. So we've got keepers that can't save. We've got the team that conceded the first goal the most in the league. The team has conceded 19 in their last six games. Jason, are you confident for Saturday then? I mean, I mean, they'll give us a run for our money in the sluggish starters league, but um, I feel as though if we can just get... We seem to be most dangerous from a set piece. If we can just get an early set piece... You know, sling it onto Collins or Bonner's head, as is in the uh, Liverpool game. Then uh, I think we're in with a chance. Yeah, Charlie. Um, team news: Tompkins is out for six weeks. Reed and Joey Bayer will be undergoing scans on Thursday, so do keep your eyes out for the team news as to whether they're going to make it or not. Piatti will be rested because he suffered concussion in the FA rules. If you suffer concussion, you cannot play for the next six days. So, but he will be back for Blackburn. 
Song and Lanzini look like they could be available for this one. Whether Bilic risks Lanzini from the start is probably not likely, but Song looks like he will start, especially with Noble and Obiang playing 120 minutes on Tuesday night. We do, uh, however, have Emanike and Carroll. Um, Charlie, are you hoping either of them start or are you sticking with Mr. Enner Valencia up front for this one? Uh, I would I would go with... Uh, I keep changing my mind. I thought about it earlier and I thought Enner Valencia. Then I thought about it about 20 minutes ago and I thought Andy Carroll. I would be happy with either of them, but I think... We're gonna. I I would I would prefer us to have Antonio on one side and Moses on the other. Just really go at them pace wise early on, um, and try and do what we did against Liverpool, against Man City, and score early. Um, and I think that is going to be the key to the match because again, I said it a couple of. It might have even been the last time I was on. I said the most of our the most of our successes this season have been when we've scored early. And then we are in control of the game. And we seem to be very good at dealing with that as a team. However, we can't deal with going down by one as well. So if we go in there early and we get the early doors, so fast players quickly just break at them, then I think I'm very confident about it. Do you agree with that, Jason? If if Norwich City score first, do you think we could struggle? Because they're probably going to have to defend for their lives a wee bit because they need points and they need points badly. And Charlie touched on there, Alex Neal sticking to his game plan, but surely now is the time that you start to rip up your game plan a little bit and think, just get them points no matter what you do. Well, absolutely, but um, it, we've seen in recent times with Southampton and Newcastle that when we go a goal down, we just really just can't break teams down. I, I mean, I might be uh, bold in saying this, but I think Pye just seems really tired lately. He's just been quite ineffectual lately. I feel with Lanzini coming back, it could ease the burden on how much he needs to provide in a game and maybe even, you know, not give him a full 90-minute run-out doing the world of good. Do, do you think it's going to help Billets, Jason, having Lanzini on the bench on Saturday so that he can take Payet off even as early as half-time if he needs to be and put Lanzini on in place of him so we don't lose the flair but we rest the player? Definitely. I think he'll um, obviously have a headache that you'd want to have, really, and what a great option to have on the bench, even if he isn't 100%, but to just put him on for that half-hour, 20 minutes... He'll make a difference. Charlie, let's go back to Norwich City a wee second here. Is this a six-pointer for Norwich City? Uh, we're hoping our cup final comes at Wembley in May, but do Norwich cup final start on Saturday? I believe so. I mean, they're one... I I think they're one point behind um, 17th, uh, and then I think above that it's three more points between them. So we're getting down to the time now where you really have to stake a claim to make sure you're not in the relegation fight in the last two or three games of the season because then it becomes a serious struggle, um, as we know full well. I think they're probably going to look at us and see a team who have maybe struggled for a couple of games, started slowly, and they are a decent side going forward. Even if they are bad at the back, they can break. Pe- they can score decent goals when they want to. Um, and so I think they're probably going to look at us and go, right, if we can win this, then we can really start to say, right, we are surviving this season. And that makes this game twice as important, for, I think, for both of us, because I think we need to we need to get a win to keep up the pace with those ahead of us. Well, Norwich City actually went five Premier League games unbeaten at home before Liverpool beat them 5-4 with that very last gas winner. So their home form isn't as shocking as you, you might assume for a team at the foot of the table. Jason, before we ask you for your score prediction, etc., are Norwich a wee bit of a wounded animal, do you think? Well, that's when their animals are the most dangerous, really. I mean, we've seen it with Villa. They've woken, woken up, pretty much. This could be Leicester-esque. I don't know. They might go back and get stuffed on the weekend. You just They're unpredictable, and that's what makes them dangerous. Does fatigue worry you, Jason, for this weekend? Like you said, we just talked about, we've played 120 minutes midweek, we've got a, quite a lot of injuries stacking up, but while players are injured, we've also got players who, they're coming back, but they're not ready to start yet, and we've got players who have played 120 minutes, but they've also been playing the weekend before, so they probably need a rest, but they can't get a rest, so this, at Norwich have had a week off. Um, are you worried fatigue will play a part at Carroll Road on Saturday? Well, as you were saying, the 120 minutes, but in the grander scheme of things, our season pretty much started in July with the Europa League. Um, I was wondering as well, in regards to a fullback situation, if there was a recall clause in um, Kyle Noyle, or if we can even just look to the youth just to give us another option on the bench, really. It would be great to blood a youngster, but maybe this is the time we need to turn to a fresh pair of legs, really. Yeah, well, we'll see what Slavin Bullich does as well, but... 
before I get these guys' score prediction, I think it's going to be a tough one, actually. It's easy to say a West Ham win, but um, I can see them thinking already. But make sure you subscribe to our channel while you're watching here, and thank you for joining us. Our forum is 100% free for members on hammerschats.board.net, so do join up. Come talk to your fellow West Ham fans. And on Saturday at half time, Hammers Chat will be live with your analysis for the first 45 minutes as well. You won't see that anywhere else on the internet. Jason, neck on line time, like we do every week here on Hammers Chat. What's your score prediction? I'm thinking 2 0. 2 0. Andy Carroll and something from Dimmy Pie. He'll pull it out of the back. I was worried you were to say, say to Norwich there. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, stay strong on your debut. Keep that uh, win. Charlie, what's your prediction for this one? 3-1 to West Ham. Well, I'm going to agree with one of you. Before I do that, I'm going to tell you, I'm on a bit of form at the moment. I said 2-0 against Villa. I said 1-1 against Liverpool. OK, I got Southampton wrong. I said 2-1 Southampton. But they still lost by a goal. I'm, I'm going 3-1. Um, West Ham as well. I'm quite confident. But anyway, thank you very much for joining us at home. Do come on to our forum. Jason, Charlie, Gio, we're all from Hammers Chat. Come have a chat. <laughs> <laughs>